Learning Quadcopter 101 here, and before we get started, let's get today's shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Zubitron. Zubitron was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, congratulations! Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with a tabletop review of the Ishin VWOOP 90. Now, this is one of the oddest things that I've seen come out in quite a while. Uh, what it is, folks, is both a hovercraft and a tiny whoop in one. Okay, uh, the way it works is. Uh, these this back uh, two rotors and motors they tilt up via the use of this servo here. Um, they can be angled up 45 degrees, angled up all the way, or just just down flat like this. Well, when it's down flat like this, it's a uh, quadcopter, a drone, a tiny whoop that you can fly both in acro or if you want in you know angle mode or acro you know to do tricks <laughs> i don't know how well it flies yet because i haven't flown it in acro yet i'm going to try to do that today if i can but um uh if you want to fly it if you don't want to fly it you can drive it on the ground and it actually does work very well as a hovercraft now there are two ways to fly this as a hovercraft either with the uh back and all the way up you know, I will sh let me show you that. Let me just hook it up and show you. <laughs> okay, turning on my uh, transmitter here, disarming. Um, the way it comes out of the box, folks, is channel 5 will be set up to switch between disarmed and arming of the motors. All the way down would be arming, and uh, all the way up is disarming. Channel 6 was set up for the operation of the servo. Now, this... I haven't got this plugged in yet. Let me plug in the battery too to show you that how the the servo does operate, and it's powered by uh, two, a 250 milliamp hour battery. I think you get three of them. I got three of them at least in my package. But uh, through the servo, you can tilt, or through the switch uh, channel six, you can switch between all the way down, which would put it in quadcopter mode, and you, or you can also switch it to 45 degrees up which is also uh, hovercraft mode. Now this is hovercraft mode for uh, over going over carpet or grass. It actually works, folks. It lifts it up because what these back rotors will be doing will be also pushing downward at the same time while it's pushing forward. So you get a little bit of elevation. Now you don't want to fly this in angle mode in this particular uh, configuration because it shudders up quite a bit. You want to put it in an acro and steer it with the yaw trim, yaw only, not yaw trim, but the yaw, and uh, you go for it by giving a throttle and uh, increase speed also by giving a throttle. That'll lift this up off the ground and push it forward very fast. But uh, do not give it pitch or roll while in acro mode in this mode because uh, you will lose control and you will flip it over. You just use the left stick only to control it when it's in 45. Now you can also move it all the way up. Okay, and this is for indoor on smooth surfaces, or on smooth surfaces, and you want to be in angle mode when you're flying it this way. So you want to be in acro mode when it's 45 degrees, and angle mode when it's in that position there. Uh, but you're going to need a very smooth surface because this doesn't provide much pressure, and this will be just skimming the ground very, very close to the ground when it's 45 degrees up. And again, you'll need a very smooth surface to drive it in that configuration. But let's go over the other features of this. Uh, I'm turning off my transmitter and unplugging the battery. Now, what do you get? <laughs> you get a Whoop hovercraft. You get with switchable servo control. That's pretty darn cool. You also get a 700 TV line camera, uh, FPV camera, uh, with 120 degree field of view in the front. It's 48 channels with 25 milliwatt transmitter, video transmitter. It does have an on-screen display uh, that you can configure through Betaflight, uh, but I could not. It, it seemed to have smart audio, but I, you know, I using the menus, I could get could not get smart audio to change uh, the channels on this particular uh, transmitter. So I don't think smart audio is actually hooked up. <laughs> Although you know, you will be able to see the menus from this now. The flight control board on this is a Crazy B F3 flight or seriously pro racing flight control board. No, it's Crazy B <laughs> flight control board. I'm sorry, Crazy B3. Loaded up with Beta Flight 3.5.0, uh, dated 7 September 18. Now, one thing about this setup here: notice the battery. You get these two, three 250 milliamp hour batteries, but look how they're in, inserted here. <laughs> they have to. The flight control board's in the way. 
to get the battery in and out you have to move the flight control board out of the way and push it out and another thing is the uh, leads going to the FPV camera are also in the way so you have to slide these over the top of that and that creates issues too <laughs> so uh, I'm worried about fatiguing either the actually the antenna is there also uh, fatiguing the um, wire coming from the uh, FPV video or just damaging the flight control board the way this is going in and out but um, the other thing about this is binding to bind this, the bind button is on the bot or the bottom surface of this, in between the uh, top and bottom. Here, you have to. What I'm trying to say, folks, <laughs> you have to peel this away. It's held in place by sticky tape to gain access to the bind button. On this side, there's a boot button. Do not mistake that for the bind button. I can't see it right here right now because there it is. This is the boot button on this side. Do not press that. You want to get to the bind button. It's in a similar space, but on the opposite side I think it's over here and you have to lift this up and you also need to unplug these two plugs to gain access the plugs go into the battery or to the uh, motors to gain access to that so you can lift it up but um, other than that it was rather simple to bind it once you could gain access because all you need to do is put power to this and then hold that button down for three seconds and it enters into bind mode in other words you don't need two people to do it to bind it one other things about it uh, we have five amp uh, BL Heli ESCs on this, uh, which is pretty good power, power even though this is a little 1S battery powering it. And on top of that, we got brushless motors. They're SE0802 19,000 kV motors, and they do provide plenty of power. I was flying it around in the house last night, and it was working rather nicely in the house. And also, I was going over the carpet last night. You know, again, with that 45 degrees angle, and it was also working quite nicely. So, so let's go for a flight and a hover of this and see how it performs. So, hope you enjoy this demonstration. Okay, we're going to try it out first in angle mode. Uh, first off, i got to switch this to turn it into a uh, drone again. Okay, bringing that switch down. And I have the switch all the way up for angle mode. And this one here, arming. And we're taking to the air. Let's see how this thing flies. I'm surprised it flies. <laughs> Actually flies reasonably well. I got a bit of a breeze here from my left. Okay, let's try it in acro. Let's land it on the pad and let's see if it actually can fly acro, folks. So putting it on the pad, putting the cap on my wife's head. Okay, um, in beta flight, I had to set up switch uh, channel seven, five, six, seven, to be the switch that I select between angle and uh, this is air mode, and all the way down is in acro. So it really should be in acro. And let me make sure we're armed, arming. And let's go up and see how this thing performs. As an Acro FPV flyer, can it be flown in Acro? Well, the answer to that is apparently yes. <laughs> it actually flies rather well. I am surprised, folks. <laughs> it's actually flying as a whoop. Let's bring it by us in Acro. Got to give a lot of voltage, though. Let's go up in a bit and see if we can do something. <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> uh, 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 my wife's going to write it back for me. Okay, i got to lower those, the back end there, and arming it here, adjusting my goggles, arming again, and we got 3.8 volts taken to the air again at Acro. So, yeah, it's an Acro flyer, surprisingly. An Acro whoop. It does take a lot of power to lift it though. I gotta admit that folks. I gotta I'm really giving it lots of oomph. There. There I go again. I ain't gonna do any more of those uh, acrobatics. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, no more acrobatics. Just uh, let's see if we can slalom it through the trees. Let me adjust this goggles on my eyes, arming one more time. How much voltage? 3.7 volts. Take it to the air. We're just going to fly it normally. And flying this in acro. Well, it does work, folks. I got a bit. Yeah, I was kind of hesitant that this would actually work, but it does. And you can fly it, actually. It's very, um, what's the word? Gentle acro, stable acro. So you can easily fly this, folks. Uh, for those of 
wanting to learn acro, this would be a good acro trainer. <laughs> Surprised how stable it is. Now I've noticed the voltage coming down quite a bit on this, so we're going to land it here shortly. Because it is lugging quite a bit of weight, you got to admit. So, arm time is about 2 minutes, 2.9 volts. But, can I get it back? Let me take it back up in the air again. Oh no, we got to land it. Got to land it. Coming in, coming in, coming in hot. There we go. Okay, now the next thing I want to demonstrate is it flying as a hovercraft. So let's go try it as a hovercraft, folks. Okay, we're going to try it as a hovercraft. Remember, I want you to set it at 45 degree angle and fly it in an acro. Um, if you put it in stabilized mode, it stays too close to the ground and it, it shudders. And also, let's try it. Oh, wait a minute. We've got to arm it and take it into the air. And remember, you want to steer it only with the uh, yaw. See, this can go all the way up. <laughs> Pushing forward. <laughs> okay, I'm going to land it right there, folks. Now let's go into stabilized mode and see how it works in stabilized mode. Uh, if I can remember which one was stabilized mode, it's all the way up here. Now this is stabilized mode. It works. It works too, folks. So you can fly this in stabilized, but it does that little wonky thing there you can see there. It's a hovercraft that actually goes up high. <laughs> Interesting thing, huh? <laughs> One of the strangest things I've seen to date, folks, is this thing. Okay, let's go back, uh, changing it back to a drone all the way up and trying it again. Now, we got wind picket up here, so that's why I had to stop there and land it. But you saw it working as a hovercraft, and it's, whole, it's half hovercraft, half drone. But let's go up into that wind, coming around, downwind, going back upwind. So one of the strangest things I've seen for this year is this particular drone <laughs> or hovercraft drone and again you can tilt that back one up all the way you know a 90 degree angle but you really need a smooth really smooth surface to right you know run it as a hovercraft with that all the way up it works better at a 45 degree angle so that's the v-loop i'm going to land it here soon because I can't see what the voltage is on my uh, screen right now, <laughs> but I'm just bringing it up to show you to you up close. Looking beneath it. <laughs> Weird contraption. Let's land it one more time. One more time. Let's go uh, angle it back up again. Let's see if it works as a hovercraft again. Just barely. Okay. This battery's getting low, so lowering it. So that's the VWOOP 90. Weird thing. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Sighting out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.